On February 21, 2024, a groundbreaking moment occurred in Turkey's aviation history. A new fifth-generation fighter jet took to the skies. This aircraft, the Turkish aerospace industry's TF Khan, marks Turkey's first venture into domestically built modern fighters. This event signifies the start of an ambitious program aimed at outfitting Turkey's military with equipment produced within the nation. But what exactly is the TF Khan, and what capabilities might it offer? To truly understand the TF Khan, we need to delve into Turkey's military ambitions. The TF Khan is a significant milestone in Turkey's journey towards military self-sufficiency. This domestically designed fighter jet is just one of many recent announcements. For example, Turkey plans to replace the T-38 supersonic trainer with the new Herjet national jet trainer. In addition, the Herkus turboprop will serve as the country's prop trainer. Turkey has also introduced two concept helicopters, the T-625 utility helicopter and the T-129 attack helicopter. All these ambitious projects are intended to be designed and manufactured domestically, reducing reliance on foreign companies. The launch of the TF Khan is a pivotal and perhaps the most crucial part of this national endeavor. Nicknamed the National Combat Aircraft MMU, this program began in 2010. On December 10th of that year, the Turkish Defense Industry Executive Committee announced plans to design a national fighter capable of replacing the Block 50 F-16s and eventually working alongside the F-35. The aim is to have it operational within the next two decades, replacing the F-16 fleet during the 2030s. In 2011, Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, in collaboration with TUSA's Engine Industries, embarked on the journey of conceptualizing and planning Turkey's new fighter jet. They explored various designs and led the project. By 2013, TAI announced the completion of the conceptual design phase, and by 2015, several aircraft configurations had been proposed. The first design, FX-1, featured a twin-engine setup, similar to the F-22. The second, FX-5, resembled the F-16, with a single engine and a comparable configuration. The third design, FX-6, took inspiration from the JAS-39 Gripen, featuring a single engine and forward canards for enhanced agility. The twin-engine FX-1 ultimately won the selection process. In 2016, Turkish Aerospace Industries secured the contract for the design and development of the aircraft concept, receiving funding equivalent to $1.8 billion. TAI was tasked not only with developing the aircraft, but also with establishing all the necessary infrastructure to produce it domestically. BAE Systems from the UK was brought on board to provide engineering assistance for the development of the aircraft. Additionally, a request for proposals was issued for an engine, stipulating that the engines be produced in Turkey. Several jet engine manufacturers, including Eurojet, known for the EJ200 engines in the Typhoon, and Rolls-Royce, expressed interest in the project. In 2018, General Electric, through its Turkish partner Tusas Engine Industries, argued that GE products would be more suitable due to their extensive original equipment manufacturer support. They proposed using the F110 engine, which powers the F-16, or the prototype. However, the final decision on the engine contract is still pending. By 2022, discussions were ongoing about a potential deal with Rolls-Royce. The main concern remained ensuring that Turkey had the intellectual property rights to the engine, and that it would be entirely produced within the country. In 2019, the first concept of the TF Khan was unveiled to the public. Its design, akin to other fifth-generation fighters, drew inspiration from the F-22 and emphasized stealth capabilities. In March 2023, the first prototype of the TF Khan was unveiled, marking the beginning of an extensive series of ground tests and research. These tests included wind tunnel testing, ejection seat trials using a Martin Baker design, and studies on the radar cross-section. This rigorous phase culminated in the aircraft's maiden flight on February 21, 2024. During this flight, the TF Khan reached an altitude of 8,000 feet and a speed of 230 knots before descending and landing with the aid of a parachute. The entire flight lasted 30 minutes and marked the start of a series of prototype tests that will progressively explore the aircraft's performance at higher altitudes and speeds. Future test flights are expected to include specific tasks such as aerial refueling. As we look ahead to the aircraft's capabilities, Turkey has been tight-lipped about the specifics, typical of other fifth-generation fighter programs. However, we can make some educated guesses. 
the prototypes will likely use two F110 GE129 engines, the same ones powering Turkey's F16C Block 50 jets. Each GE129 engine can produce 19,500 pounds of thrust, suggesting that the TF Khan could achieve a top speed between Mach 1.82 and Mach 2.0, with a service ceiling of 55,000 feet. However, the production version of the aircraft is expected to use a different, locally produced engine, which may alter these specifications. It is also suspected that the TF Khan will have super cruise capability, a feature that allows sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. This was a point of interest during Turkish aerospace industries discussions with Rolls-Royce several years ago. Given that Super Cruise is a hallmark of most fifth-generation fighters, it is reasonable to assume that this capability has been incorporated into the TF Khan's design, although this will be confirmed with time. Among the more intriguing details released about the TF Khan are the specifics regarding its airframe materials. The fuselage is constructed from titanium, while the nose is made of aluminum. Additionally, the aircraft is coated with a composite carbon thermoplastic, reportedly the same material Turkish companies produced for the F-35. This material is touted for significantly reducing radar reflectivity, while remaining extremely light, aiding in maintaining a low radar cross-section. The TF Khan features two small internal weapons bays, one on each side of the fuselage likely intended for smaller Fox 2 missiles. Underneath the aircraft is a larger internal weapons bay, suggesting it can accommodate up to four larger missiles. The frontal design of the TF Khan resembles that of the F-22, indicating a reduced radar signature from a head-on perspective. This design provides an advantage in beyond visual range combat. For stealth missions, reducing the radar signature from the side and rear aspects is equally critical when flying into enemy territory. Given the substantial investment by the Turkish government, it is reasonable to assume that radar cross-section tests have produced satisfactory results. Reliability and build quality are critical for the success of a project like the TF Ka'an. Considering the stresses such an airframe will endure, the Turkish program appears promising. Turkey's experience in producing the high-quality, low-observability TB2 combat drone, which is used by both the Air Force and Navy, underscores their capability. The program aims to replace the F-16 fleet within roughly 10 years, indicating a high level of confidence in the TF Khan's design, likely viewing it as on par with other Western frontline fighters. Similar to the South Korean KF-21, the TF Khan is intended to serve as a middle ground between a stealth air superiority fighter and a multi-role aircraft like the F-16. While Turkey has long aimed to equip its forces with the F-35, the TF Khan has been designed with the potential for integration with the F-35 fleet, should the opportunity to acquire those aircraft arise. In terms of armament, the TF Khan will be capable of carrying several common Western missiles, including the Meteor. However, there is a strong emphasis on using primarily Turkish-produced missiles. These include the short-range infrared Merlin, the mid-range active Gokdogan, the long-range active Peregrine, the MAM-T anti-tank missile, and the SOM cruise missile. The aircraft will also be able to equip other precision-guided munitions, most of which are either produced in Turkey or modified with guidance kits developed in-country. Inside the TF Khan's advanced glass cockpit, pilots will find a suite of cutting-edge technology. The aircraft is equipped with a command AI autopilot sensitive to the pilot's consciousness, a domestically produced AESA radar, a helmet-mounted display, the ANA-3 combat drone control system, and an electro-optical tracker capable of 360-degree coverage. This impressive array of features comes at a steep price, approximately $100 million per unit, potentially higher than the F-35 export model. Despite the cost, Turkey remains committed, likely because the TF Khan can integrate natively with Turkish systems, including drones, mission systems, and weapons, something the F-35 cannot do. One critical aspect to watch is the engine that will power the production version of the TF Ka'an. Turkey has shown interest in three potential designs, one from Rolls-Royce, one from Turkish company Kale, and one from a supposed non-NATO source, likely Russia or possibly China. The engine choice will significantly impact the aircraft's capabilities as the F-110 engine in the prototype is not designed for stealth. Turkey aims for an engine that can deliver 35,000 pounds of thrust 
a challenging feat. Only a few countries can consistently produce such high-performance turbofans, often relying on assistance from the likes of America or Russia. The TFCAN's ability to natively integrate with Turkish systems is a key advantage. The aircraft's advanced technologies, including its command AI autopilot, AESA radar, helmet-mounted display, and 360-degree electro-optical tracker make it a formidable addition to Turkey's military arsenal. The high cost reflects its capabilities and the ambitious goals of Turkey's defense program. Even with rapid technological advancements, China still struggles to produce turbofans that match the quality of the Russian engines used in many of their older aircraft. This underscores the challenge for Turkey in domestically producing an engine that meets their requirements. Achieving the desired 35,000 pounds of thrust is only one part of the equation. As a stealth fighter, the TF Khan's engine must also be heat shielded to minimize its infrared signature and designed to deflect or absorb radar signals. Additionally, manufacturing tolerances must be extremely precise to ensure long-lasting, reliable engines. Poor tolerance for heat and friction can result in frequent repairs, engine changes, longer maintenance times, and ultimately fewer aircraft available for missions. Currently, the TF Khan is undergoing flight tests, gradually increasing altitude and speed, with its first supersonic flight anticipated later this year. The plan involves manufacturing three prototypes over the next two years, each expected to take flight consecutively. The first production aircraft, incorporating mission systems not present in the prototypes, is scheduled for rollout in 2025 with its first flight planned for 2026. Within just over five years, the first 10 combat-ready Block 1 aircraft are expected to be introduced between 2030 and 2033. In 2033, mass production of Block 2 aircraft is set to begin, with an output of 24 units per year until 2040. Subsequent Block 3 and future programs will follow. Turkey envisions the TF Khan serving into the 2070s, with regular upgrades and modernizations planned to keep the aircraft at the cutting edge. News of the TF Khan was met with some skepticism in the West. Many countries have proposed fifth-generation fighters, but the infrastructure needed to produce these advanced aircraft successfully remains a significant barrier. Despite this, the TF Khan appears to be a serious attempt at creating a homegrown multi-role aircraft with a focus on stealth and air-to-air -air combat. It represents a fascinating case of a nation transitioning from reliance on foreign to domestic military equipment, aiming to compete internationally in terms of price and production scale. What sets the TF Khan apart from its contemporaries, such as the South Korean KF-21 and the Chinese J-20, is the ambitious scope of the Turkish plan. Turkey is investing not only in a new aircraft but also in an entire ecosystem, including missiles, guided munitions, and drones all intended to match Western arms. While America, Russia, and China have decades of experience in aircraft production, Turkey is attempting to build an equivalent from the ground up without that extensive history, making it a formidable challenge. The TF Khan's development is an example of what a nation can achieve with strong motivation. Like the South Korean KF-21, only time will reveal the effectiveness of this design. Nonetheless, it demonstrates Turkey's commitment to advancing its military capabilities and becoming a significant player in the global arms market. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated. Thanks for watching.